the man back. Hope over the night. sleep half the day but we still get to see some shit so today we're about to go to this mansion i don't know the name of it so i'm going to get you the name here shortly it's probably going to tell you right here because i'm doing my editing and it's telling you the name right there but that's the name of the mansion we're about to go see we're going to show you that we're also going to go grab food right now right outside of our hotel so remember we're at the dream hotel on collins in south beach we're about to go grab some food real quick when you grab food, you know what we do. We show you what it is. We're going to give you that five-star rating. Uh, well, rating from zero to five stars to let you know how it is. If you ever decide to come out here and visit Dream Be I mean Dream uh, South Beach. But yes, we are staying at Dream, so stay tuned because I'm going to show you what restaurant we're going to go to and how it tastes. And then the rest of the shit we're about to do, let's go. So like normal, we actually are in a rush. I didn't realize that the mansion closes at 4.30. So we have to get there before 4.30. So we actually just came to a spot called Sunny's, which is literally about 100 feet away from where our hotel is, just to grab some food real quick, get some food in this girl, and then keep pushing because she's hungry. So let me show you the menu, and then I'll show you the food, and then I'll tell you how it tastes, and then we're gonna get you to the mansion. So keep watching, let's go. Here's my food, chicken, real chicken sandwich with avocado, avocado toast. Our meals here are not extravagant. They're not, not nothing crazy, like some crazy pasta dish or nothing crazy. I mean, like I got a grilled chicken avocado sandwich. She got toast with avocado on it, little egg. We're keeping it light. It's still, I mean, not early. Over here, it's about 2 p.m., but for us, it's 11 a.m. So therefore, we're still keeping it a little light. We're still in brunch mode. But to give you a, a little rating on the chicken sandwich here, chicken was a little dry, but it did say new on the menu. So I'm going to give the chef a benefit of the doubt. Everything else on the plate was good. My girl completely destroyed her plate. So I'm assuming that her toast, mm -hmm. eggs, and avocado were good. I'm going to give the food about a three, three and a half. Again, a similar to... Uh, the last rating I gave on the other video if you watched that one and I'm gonna give the overall rating about a three and a half as well you're sitting right on the street we like this atmosphere as you can see we're right on the street we like being out here you're in Miami so I mean being outside being with the wind in your face sun out it's beautiful so you can't go wrong so check it out if you're looking for a fast quick meal and you're on the move Sunny's right here on Collins Avenue and 11th Street. So, right on the corner. Check it out if you're interested. Keep watching because the mansion is next. I'm telling you, the mansion is next and you're going to want to see it because as soon as we saw it, we didn't even know it was there. We we're like, we have to do that tour. So, keep watching. We're going to do it soon. <laughs> just start driving through it's a pretty cool entrance actually to come through here come through some rock walls and then you got to drive through the forest area pretty cool it's really tropical and you get to the back so stay tuned as we get out we're going to show you what it looks like we made All it right. correction it's a Vizcaya museum which i'm not exactly sure what it is so i'm not going to be able to tell you what it is because i'll be lying to you but like i said you see the tropical walk from our car we had a park over here in the parking lot from the parking lot it looks like there's a lot of people here so it must be a busy spot we completely ran into it just by sight by driving by it look cool she uh, looked up some Google pictures and here we are this is what we do when we're on vacation you know what it is we're out here we're gonna show you what it looks like so watch it <laughs> Tap in and tell you what 
tell you some quick facts. One quick fact, online only, so save yourself the 10 minutes of standing in front of this place, going online, trying to purchase it, and just purchase it online from the start. I'm gonna put the details in the details below. I'll put the website, but it's just better that you just get it early so you can walk right past everybody and walk inside. We got a wedding being, we got some, uh, some wedding pictures happening over here. Let me turn it around and show you what it looks like. sneak peeks of some cool rooms so that way you can at least see that it's real so that way you actually do it um, but yes it's worth come checking out so come watch it I'm gonna keep showing you some cool spots and then we're gonna tap in with you after this and let you know what we're gonna do after this which is probably go to the beach but I'm not sure yet depends on what time we leave here so keep watching <laughs> just exited the house now we found out that there's a garden here they're also doing a wedding in the background setting up for one so we're not gonna be able to show you like all the views because they're blocked off some of it but that's okay because we respect that they're doing a wedding but we're about to show you the garden so keep watching <music> came outside 
inside and we thought it was just gonna be a garden they actually got a cafe and a little shop you could buy stuff if you like to buy stuff from the places you visit we also got the married couple right there doing a photo shoot so we're gonna try not to interrupt them and we ended up coming across this cool little pool that they got in the back which is pretty badass you can enter inside there on some stairs or right there on some stairs so that's pretty cool so keep watching because we're running into cool shit by accident so it's worth the watch up with the video because somebody called me in between but we're back at it so we're actually here sorry I'm interrupting some people over here but we're gonna hit the garden now so I'm gonna show you what that looks like but here is basically the back side of the house um, you have a really cool little old-school pirate ship looking thing that used to have a bridge it looked like but doesn't anymore you got a lot of cool photo opportunities out here if that's what you're coming out here to do we're walking to the garden now so I'm going to turn you around and show you what that looks like. We also got a couple other photo shoots out here because that's how nice it is. Um, maybe it looks like uh, a quinceanera of some sort, it looks like. So we're going to turn you around and show you what it looks like. Keep watching, hopefully, you like what you see. <coughs> made it to the garden and when you walk through you walk through a couple little courtyards it's really cool I, I will show you them um, but they're doing some filming over there for Quintanilla so we didn't want to be the person interrupting but check this out they got the wedding that they're setting up for there on the whole other side but this thing is huge I'm gonna show you what it looks like try to go as slow motion as possible here but I'm gonna turn it around show you what it really looks like keep watching hopefully you like what you see As you see the visuals that I'm showing you of the gardens, I'm telling you, come here with some time. Don't come here with, like with 30 minutes thinking you're gonna do the whole thing. I think they close at 4.30 on the, on the weekdays. I'm not sure what the time on the weekends, but just understand, it's gonna take a lot of time to explore this area. The stuff I showed you is only 10 steps into the garden. You know, we haven't even walked that far yet. It goes way back there. And as we walk down these pathways, you have a bunch of little mini gardens that are there. So you gotta also check those out. They have cool statues all in all of them. So if you're very, you know, if you're not very into it, but if you're into just looking at cool stuff, and it's like, honestly, I believe that this is one of the little hidden gems in Miami um, that a lot of people probably don't even come and see. It's something you must come check out. You mean, take an hour or two out of your day, come check this spot out. It's. It's rad to check it out. We like to check out all this old stuff. Look, I didn't even realize I was standing next to this guy. I should have been like this the whole time. Anyways, check it out. It's worth checking out. I don't think it was that expensive. I didn't pay for it, so I don't even know the price, but I'll get you the price soon. Let me turn you around and show you more of the cool shit we're about to see. <laughs> peace and tranquility i see a lot of people here and honestly we're not even running into people like maybe just a pass them here and there but you could always walk into a garden here and be by yourself it's so quiet here and peaceful except for the kids you hear screaming in the background of course you know you always got that one kid that screams but besides for that you could honestly come here and take a bunch of cool ass pictures and be some tranquility in your life if you need it As we told you, they're setting up for a wedding. 
The wedding over there that you saw in the beginning of the picture where I showed you is probably where, I'm not sure if there's two events actually happening out here or if this is where they're gonna do their ceremony. But either way, if you pick out here to do it, it's beautiful, you can't get wrong with it. I'm gonna get you a nice picture of the whole house right now. I'm gonna show you where they're going. been showing you glimpses of this garden like I said it's one of those things that even a glimpse from my phone is not gonna do it justice you guys have to come out here and do it justice yourself just understand that it's definitely a hidden gem that most people probably do not come check out or if they do I'm not sure how you guys heard about it because I never heard about this place until I decided to drive right by it see it realize something was hidden back here and come check it out so with that being said make sure you come check it out we're gonna be leaving here shortly we're gonna enjoy the time without us recording because we've been recording since we got here. And with that being said, tap into the drive back to South Beach. We're gonna show you some beach for sure today, so stay tuned. All right, we're going to Key Biscayne. It wasn't on the itinerary, but we're going there anyways. I saw it, it looked cool, sounded cool. So we made a right and now we're driving over the bridge. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the Biscayne Bay. But if I don't show you any of the Biscayne Bay, that's because it wasn't worth showing you or we never got out of the car. So then that means don't come to Biscayne Bay. But we're gonna, I mean Biscayne Key. Key Biscayne, there we go. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you. All right, so we're leaving Key Biscayne and it was worth checking out if you like big ass houses. There's a lot of other stuff you could do. There are beaches and stuff you can go to, kite surfing, stuff like that, but we weren't planning on doing any of that, so we just drove through it. We're on our way out back to South Beach. We're gonna go check out those beaches and see what it's looking like, show you what it looks like. Let's go. Drive through Key Biscayne if you wanna check out the bad houses. Let's go. Stay tuned. So we made it back to our hotel. We decided to come up upstairs because there's a sun deck up here. We wanted to check it out, see the vibes, see the rooftop vibes, pool vibes. So yeah, if you stay at the Dream, know that they got a pool deck on top. It's probably not here. You going to the bar? All right, we're going to the bar. So let me show you real quick what it looks like up here. checking out the sun deck that's what was up there we had to check it out since they said it's up here I mean might as well right we're staying at the damn hotel anyways we got our drink on our first drink of the night because we don't need to drink all day it's barely Thursday we got Friday Saturday and Sunday still to be able to live through plus it's unhealthy to drink every single day so what we are gonna do is we're waiting for the elevator as you can see us standing in front of it we're gonna go down we're gonna check out South Beach, probably show you what the Clevelander looks like. I'm not sure, really sure what we're gonna do, but wherever the party's at, that's where we're gonna go. Let's go. I'm gonna take these glasses off and switch to the yellow ones because it's no longer sunny and it's game time. So stay tuned with us. We're gonna show you some cool shit, hopefully. Let's go. All right, so we are now walking down Ocean Drive. I don't know if you saw that Lambo that just went by me, but we're down here, we are right in front of the Clevelander, which is probably what I said in the other video, because we were right in front of the Clevelander then too. But, this is a famous pool party. We're walking down the street, we had a change at the hotel, and now we are looking for the party, looking for the food. So, stay tuned. Hopefully I'm gonna show you some party. Hopefully I'm gonna show you some food. Keep watching. 
So we decided to come to Cantina's, which is right in front of, I'm actually not even sure what the front of the hotel is, but it's north of 8th Street, about maybe 100 yards. 8th Street, okay, maybe a little bit more than 100 yards. But 8th Street is right behind me. It's right on the boardwalk of Ocean Drive, so you should check it out, but wait till our review. Another 20 more seconds of the video and you'll know the review of how this tastes. You know what we do, we show you the food, then we give you the review. Then we tell you whether it's worth it or not to come, so stay tuned for the food review. The drink is here. We got it. You know what it is. We're in Miami. It's time to do it. Let's go. So let me tell you right off the start before we even decide to taste it and rate it. It smells delicious and it looks good. So I'm gonna dig in real quick and then I'm gonna come back with that rating. So stay tuned real quick if you're interested. Can we get a mother freaking drum roll? Hit review time. We pretty much, well, I didn't devour it. She always devours it. You know what it is, but let's go. Out of five star rating, we are gonna give it food wise 3.8. Drinks wise, that's a solid four. I mean, you can't go wrong with the oversized drink. And they actually came back to double check to make sure her drink was gonna be right, which to me, that's automatic. If you're gonna do that, that's a plus because they didn't bring it out wrong like they do at most places. So, with that being said, we're gonna give that a solid four stars for the drink and for overall rating here at this spot, like a solid overall rating, I'll give it a solid four. We'll give it a solid four out of our five stars. Man. We're not gonna be overly picky, but you mean you can't go wrong with this atmosphere. They got good music in the background. They got cool ambient lighting, and we got solid drinks with decent food. The servers have been helpful and on it since we've been here, and you're literally on Ocean Drive. So how could you go wrong? At the end of the day, you could hear how they greet them and everything. It's good. So I would say four stars here. Good job, Cantina with a K. Cantina with a K. You see it right here. Cantina with a K. Spell it out. Let's go. Keep watching because we're about to get to that party. It's a little bit warm out here. We're we'll getting to that party. So keep watching. So we have made it to the Clevelander. We are inside now. We have dinner. I showed you that. I gave you the rating of that. We had to finish that big ass pink that we had, but we walked down just about two blocks. You hit the Clevelander. It's actually a pool party, but since it's nighttime, the pool party's not really popping like a pool party. We came here to have a drink because it's outdoors, pool vibe, as you saw in my video right now. We had to get a drink here, so we're gonna drink here for a little bit and then continue to move on. We're gonna continue to show you what kind of madness we get into. You never know with us when you get into crazy shit. You just never know. Let's go. So we're still here at the Clevelander. It is now a little bit more crowded than it was earlier. As you can see, it's starting to get more crowded. People here are on Florida time. Like it's East Coast time out here for real. Like people don't start showing up to the clubs and bars until like 11 p.m. because they don't close till like 5 or 6 p.m. So be cautious of that. You don't be in a rush to get to these bars. Anyways, as you can see, it's more crowded out here. We're gonna show you mangoes in a little bit when we get there. But right now, we're gonna continue to party at the Clevelander, so keep watching. Let's go. Which is what we showed you in the last video. If you didn't 
see it in the last video, and this is the first video you watch, you should go watch the last video because that'll show you a little bit about mangoes. In this video, I'll show you a little bit about mangoes. But now we're, we left mangoes, we just passed Clevelanders, and we're walking back towards our hotel. It's about two o'clock in the morning. We gotta check out tomorrow from this hotel, check into our new hotel, which is gonna be the badass hotel. So make sure you go check into tomorrow's video. And we're gonna suntan, we're gonna do all kinds of shit tomorrow. So we're trying to wake up a little bit early, so we're gonna go to sleep a little bit early. Cause out here, this is early for these motherfucking Floridians. Floridians, they don't fucking play no games. Motherfuckers stay up late. So keep watching. Click on the next video. I don't even know if it automatically does it, but if it doesn't automatically do it, just make sure you press next. We're on our way back. We're gonna be safe. The only way you're gonna see us next is if some drastic happens, like they try to steal my phone in the Columbia video. And if you didn't watch that, go make sure you watch that video. That's my most viewed video. So go check it out. We out of here. We'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you check it out. I know I didn't show you the beach like I told you I was gonna show you the beach, but tomorrow we definitely will show you the beach. So make sure you tune in tomorrow. We also got the Bad Bunny concert tomorrow. Pay attention. Let's go. We out. Okay. Can you give him a we out? Can you give him a we out? Okay. Oh, we out. Let's go.